special thanks to Kern Family Healthcare, the wonderful company, Kern County Superintendent of Schools, and Dignity Health for their generous donations toward Bakersfield Symphony Education Programming. Hello, my name is Kendra Green. I'm the Director of Education Engagement with the Bakersfield Symphony, and I'll be your host for this video. I'm excited to introduce you today to a living composer, rather than someone like Mozart or Beethoven who did all of their composing literally hundreds of years ago. In fact, the piece we'll be performing, the Legacy Oboe Concerto, was written just seven years ago in 2015 by a composer still alive and well, Oscar Navarro. Navarro was born in Novelda, Spain, where his musical education began. He studied composition and conducting at the Allegro Internacional Music Academy in Valencia and went on to study at USC in Los Angeles, California. He perhaps chose this school specifically because of his interest in film music. He wanted to write scores for TV and movies, and what better place to do that than down the street from Hollywood? While he hasn't ended up making his living from composing film scores, his compositions for band and orchestra have been performed all over the world. He also works as a conductor, leading the Oscar Navarro Symphony Orchestra, as well as being hired globally as a guest conductor. Navarro's oboe concerto, Legacy, pays homage to an instrument that has truly stood the test of time. The oboe has been around since the mid-1600s. Navarro takes us, led by the oboe soloist, on a musical journey through time. Usually concertos consist of three movements or different sections of music where the entire orchestra, soloist included, stops playing in between. This piece doesn't have movements. It just takes you on one wild ride from beginning to end, showcasing different eras of music along the way. Navarro begins the piece with a tick-tock, tick-tock theme to represent the ticking of a clock and the passage of time. The tick-tock theme happens throughout the piece, but is maybe most obvious at the very beginning. Listen for this theme, not just at the beginning, but throughout the entire piece, and see if you can tell what different instruments play it at different points in the music. Now, I'm going to take you through the different musical eras that the concerto brings us to. After the initial clock ticking theme, we begin with what Navarro calls the times of antiquity. Antiquity basically means the ancient past, and the music is improvisational sounding. Navarro wrote it so it sounds like someone is sort of making it up as they go. This harkens back to a time before musical notation, where musicians had to either improvise, make it up on the spot, or memorize all of the music they were going to play because there was no written notation for them to read. After some more hidden TikToks, remember to listen for those, Navarro takes us to the world of Spanish folk music. Remember, Navarro is from Spain, and this is his own country's music history. The oboe soloist becomes a gypsy singer, figuratively, she's still playing oboe. Now in Spanish folk dances, the dancers would often stamp their heel hard on the ground as part of the dance, and the noise this made would become part of the music. Navarro has figured out how percussionists can mimic this sound by hitting a hard mallet on a piece of polished wood. Listen for this heel stamp sound and try to imagine what the dancing would look like. Next, Navarro takes us to the Romantic period, where he focuses on passion and emotion in the music. The final section is the modern day, written in a cinematic style, which means it sounds like movie music. Before the end of the piece, Navarro throws in a wink to a different musical era, the Baroque. The Baroque period was about 1600 to 1750, which is the period of time when the oboe was invented and began to be used regularly in music. As the orchestra is winding up for its big finish, the modern cinematic style is mixed with some very obviously Baroque musical ideas. It's a bit of a surprise if you recognize what's happening and you aren't expecting it, and it's a really fun and appropriate nod to music history. The piece finishes in a fun and energetic flourish. Our oboe soloist for this piece is Laura Argenbright, principal oboe of our own Bakersfield Symphony. 
In addition to her time with the BSO, Laura also plays in a number of orchestral groups throughout Southern California, teaches private lessons, and maintains a handmade oboe reed business. She has also performed as a soloist with a number of orchestras, including a world premiere performance of a double oboe concerto. I hope you enjoy her performance of Navarro's Legacy Concerto, and we look forward to seeing you at the concert. Mm -hmm. 